8.5. So, this is to know how to graph. Linear. If a linear goes like this, what can we tell? It would be something like y equals the 2x plus 1. The plus 1 refer to where it hits the y-axis. The 2 refers to the slope. Okay? If it was minus 2x, two, two let's say this is 3, it'd be minus 2x minus, uh, plus 3. Okay? So that line would be minus 2x plus 3. Easy enough. Next one. If I've got f of x, I'll make a guess what this is. This would be x squared. And then the end would be something like minus 3 plus 2x. Okay? So, something like that. Now, how do I know it's this shape and not an end shape? Because this is plus right here. Okay? That's plus. If it was minus, it'd be shaped like that. Okay? Well, it wouldn't be shaped like that. It'd be shaped like that because the y-intercept would still be here. Or it could be shaped like that. Okay, all we know the y-intercept's there and it's n-shaped. Now we kind of need these two points. Yeah, so if I'm going to this one here, I'm going to fill it out here. You've got a bunch of ways in which to work this out. x squared plus 2x minus 3. Make it equal to 0. That is the y equals to 0. x squared plus 2x minus 3. So that's x plus 3. x minus 1. x equals to minus 3. x equals to 1. So that's minus 3, and that's 1. Obviously, my graph isn't perfect. This point here is important. Okay? Two ways in which to work it out. Complete the square. I'll give you the bad version first. Um, half this, and square it. Minus 1, minus 3. That's x plus 1 squared. Minus 4. So our turning point there is minus 4 and the 1, and this is explained on page, example 1, page 254, okay, 254. So the turning point, you always minus this 1 here. Yeah, if that was minus 1, it would go plus 1. So now I know that this point is at minus 1 and minus 4. And there's that point there. If I was just given this, then I could draw this out pretty easily because I would know that we've got minus 3. I know minus 1, minus 4, that, that there. I know that I've got minus 3 here. And I've got um, 1 here as well. So it was, yeah. So that's minus 1. That really should have been down there. Okay, so now I know that that's how it looks. Now, the better way in which to get this, and I know some of you are probably already thinking it, is f dash of x is 2x plus 2. Make it equal to 0. 2x equals to minus 2. x equals to minus 1 divide. And then sub it into the y, we get the y value. Yep, calculus is always better. S simply put. Just do the calculus. Now, cubics. Or, this is an x cubed plus this is a minus x cubed. Um, if they ask us to sketch the graph, sketch the graph of uh, will it give us example two is y equals x by x plus one by x plus two. That's kind of just making it really easy on you. The first step is make this equal to zero. So therefore, x equals to zero, x plus one equals to zero, x plus two equals to zero, x equals to minus one, x equals to minus two. So straight away, a crappy little graph I'm doing here. Minus 1, minus 2, and 0. So I know it's going to take this shape. So it's going to go something like this. 
Yeah. Now I need to know what this is and what this is. Okay. So we can find that out pretty easily because I can multiply this all out. Y equals x plus one by x plus two. That's x by x squared plus three x plus two. If you multiply that, use the box method. 3x squared plus 2x. Integrate. That's f of x. So that's 3x squared plus 6x plus 2. Make it equal to 0. I'll continue this on another one. So you can see that is continuing on from here, equal to zero, three x squared plus six x plus two equals zero. Okay, factorize that. Yep, yeah. does it work? It, it, it doesn't work out perfect. For that one, that's why they kind of gave a tricky one. But if they do ask you to draw it accurately, they will give you that. Um, so we'll move on to the next one. So if they ask you to graph f of x equals minus x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. Um, we do exactly what we did before, but if we're looking to find out this one here, where, first of all, we know that it's gonna go like that, we wanna find these points. So we do the factor theorem. See, it always comes up. So we try f of one. No, it doesn't work. f of minus one. So you do one, two, three, minus one, minus two, that works. So therefore x, equals to minus one, x plus one is a factor. You divide that in, x plus one. Difference between x to the power of one, x to the power of three is two, two lines go there, minus x to the power of three, that's plus six, that goes in six times, that goes in minus x squared, that's minus x squared, this has to be minus x squared because it's minus two x squared, that goes in minus x times. So now we've got f of x equals to x plus 1 and minus x squared minus x plus 6. Okay, and that will, what I'm going to do is put the minus outside for this. And that will change to x squared plus x minus 6. Factorize that, x plus 3, x minus 2. Okay. Minus doesn't make a difference. That's going to be x equals to minus 1, x equals to minus 3, x equals to 2. This doesn't matter. That just shows you the shape in which it's going at. Okay? If I wanted to draw this out in more detail, I would do f dash of x for this, make it equal to 0. Okay, that would give us minus 3x squared, minus 4x plus 5. I'm guessing this example doesn't go to, do, when they give you an example, they give you one that works. So let's see, does this work? No, it doesn't. Okay, but example four in your book does work for that. Okay, now the last is example five. And they give you lots of examples here. This is actually pretty good, uh, good stuff that we got here. They give you the equation. So anybody here can see that's minus one and that's two, okay? So f of x equals two, x equals two minus one, x equals to two. So that's x minus two and that's x plus one. So that's f of x equals, that's squared because it touches it, sorry. I, that's x equals to minus 1, so x plus 1, x equals to 2, x minus 2. It's squared because it touches it. And then all we do is we put a k in before it. Okay? That's where this point up here becomes really important. 
at that point y equals to 2 when x equals to 0 okay so 2 equals k x equals to 0 0 plus 1 0 minus 2 squared that's k by 1 by 4 4 k equals to 2 k equals to 2 over 4 k equals to a half bring it back up f of x as a result equals to a half x plus 1 by x minus 2 squared now all you'd have to do is now multiply that out all that does is takes a little bit of time once you can multiply that out you can go straight back in and you can differentiate to find the turner points like here but we've already got one turner point and we actually have both turner points but yeah that's all you got to do now the work for wednesday is 45 minutes thursday 45 minutes so something like 1 to 10 11 to 21 and i'll go up to 24 something in around that i want to see some evidence of your work okay good work and um, you'll get your head around us ask any questions if you have them